This is a histological slide with Poit Jagger's polyp. It is a polyp with villous papillary surface. The most important histological sign is the presence of these thin, smooth muscle bundles that create so-called arborizing pattern. It is not very well visible in H&E stain, but if we go closer, we can see these thin, smooth muscle bundles that goes uh, that go from the center of the lesion all the way to the surface. And we can still find them here. And they are interconnected, so this smooth muscle component uh, divide the polyp into the compartments. It would be much better uh, visible if uh, we use immunohistochemical stain for SMA or smooth muscle actin and then all of these strands would be positive. So the typical arborizing pattern of smooth muscle strands. Now these crypts they can be slightly irregular sometimes we see this serrated pattern and um, Poitz Jagger's polyp is typically associated with villus or papillary architecture of these uh, superficial crypts. It is usually not associated with dysplastic changes, but sometimes we can see them uh, inside of the polyp. In the center of the lesion, the crypts are more regular and tubular. And here we have lymphatic tissue. Poitz Jagger's polyps can be sporadic or they can be associated with Poitz Jagger's syndrome. They can occur uh, in, in the colon, but the small intestine is also quite common place uh, with jejunum and ileum being uh, the most common. Poitz Jagger's polyps uh, from stomach are uh, usually associated with smooth muscle component, which is slightly less prominent than in this case. Thank you for watching.